With over a decade of video production experience, here's what I've learned about adding a logo in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I'll show you how to add logos and I'll reveal three animation tricks to spice up your logo and make your videos achieve that pro level status. Stick around for the end of the video and I'll show you how to track a logo to your video like this. Let's get it on. Okay, first thing we need to do is get the logos in Final Cut Pro. We can do that by going to File, Import, Media, or just pressing Command-I. Then we find our logos down here and select them and import them. We also can drag and drop our logo right into Final Cut Pro. We can go straight to the timeline or the browser. There are a few different ways you can add your logo to your project. You can add the logo to the end of your project by pressing E and we'll put it at the end. You can also add it as a connected clip by moving your playhead and then pressing Q. You can also insert it anywhere you want by pressing W or you can overwrite the videos that are in your timeline by placing your playhead and pressing D. Now the logo is there instead of the video. And of course, you can just drag and drop it to your timeline. Once it's in your timeline, you can treat it like any other clip. You can change the duration by dragging the start and end points. You can also select it, press Control D, and enter a new duration. I'll enter 500 for five seconds and press enter. Now let's change the size and position. Select your logo and go to the inspector. If you don't see it, click this button up here. And then at the bottom of the inspector, change spatial conform to none. This will give us our actual size of our logo. Now right click on it, select transform, and you can click anywhere to move it around. If I click and drag one of these corner handles, I can change the size. If I click and drag a side or top and bottom handle, I stretch it or I shrink it. If I hold down shift with the, one of those, it just changes the size. That looks pretty good. Let's move it down over here. And then I can also rotate it with this little control here. If I want a finer rotation, I just stretch it out further. I can also turn down the opacity for a watermark type effect. I can see some of the video behind it. Press done and let's play that back. Cool. All right, let's bring this logo to life. Let's animate it. Open up the transitions browser and go to the movements category. Find this spin transition and drag and drop it onto your logo. Delete the second transition and let's shorten the time of this first transition. I want to see the logo really well, so I'm going to put opacity back up to 100. Select the transition and you'll see this on-screen control. Let's see what this transition does first. It kind of swoops it down and rotates it in. We can change where it rotates from and starts at. Let's start it over here and let's change the rotation. Now let's play that back. Oh, that's cool. It swings in. It's like it's swinging in and rotates. I like it. Such a cool, quick animation. All right, now let's animate it off. Hold down Option and click and drag that transition to the end of your logo. Play it back. What the heck? We don't want that. It's animating the video clip on. Select it, go to the inspector and change direction to out. Let's move the position to where it goes out to and let's rotate it some more. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here's how it looks all together. Swings in, and then it swoops out. Oh, isn't that so cool? I love it. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, would you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? Thanks, sure do appreciate it. So Final Cut Pro has some built-in titles that are really handy. Go up to the Titles browser and then scroll to this section called Social. These are built into Final Cut Pro, they're free to use, and they're awesome. Let's add this bump fun with logo over my clip. And we'll trim the duration. And let's watch it play back. 
That's pretty cool. Let's customize it. Select the title, go to the title inspector, and let's change our font. Let's change our colors as well. Okay, and let's add our logo. We'll click on that, and then we'll go back to our browser here, and we'll find our logo and add it. We'll click apply clip and let's change the size of it. We can use these to change the size and the scale. Let's make that a little bigger right about there and then let's bring it down. Perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's click on the title inspector and let's change this font to match. All right, can we bring the whole thing down? There we go, we'll bring the whole thing down. There's the Stupid Raisins podcast. Hold on, I'm gonna make this a little shorter. All right, let's play that back. Nice, that is a really good looking logo animation in just a few clicks. I love it. Okay, now it's time for me to show you that awesome trick, tracking a logo to a video clip. I've got this runner here and he's sponsored by Nike. I mean, crikey. So let's add that logo in. I'll drag and drop my logo onto the video and I'll put a little box around my runner where I want to track. Here's my Crikey slash Nike logo parody. Let's turn it off for now, select the logo and press V. And let's just adjust this tracking box a little bit. I wanna tighten it up on this guy and we'll shrink the circle down just a little bit. Okay, then click Analyze, and Final Cut Pro will track with that runner. Let's turn on our logo and select it, and right click and select Transform. Click this arrow and deselect Rotation. Then click Transform, and now let's shrink our logo down. There we go, now let's move it. Yeah, I like that rotation a little bit. There we go. And then let's press done. And check this out. Our logo goes right along with our runner. It even moves a little bit as he jogs and bounces up and down. So there you have it. That's how you add, animate, and track a logo in Final Cut Pro. I made another video I think you're gonna like. It's called How to Add a Watermark in Final Cut Pro, and you can check it out right here. Enjoy. It's a good one. You should definitely watch it. It's gonna change your life.